Hey, you look like you could use some help getting your Twitch clips on Instagram and Twitter. And I'm your guy. Let's check it out. Okay, but on a more serious note, my name's TJ. I go by Just Gonna Send It pretty much on any social. All the links are down below in the description. Next month is my two-year anniversary streaming on Twitch, and I figured why not start spreading my knowledge now. I usually am always making like funny montage type highlight stuff on YouTube, but I figured I'd change it up a little bit. I've been watching a lot of Harris Heller and I like what he does, so I figured I'd spread my knowledge now. So there are two different ways that you can go about this. The first way is the way that I've been doing for the last year, which I'm gonna show you. And then the second way is a new kind of easier way, but I don't really like it because I don't like the Twitch phone app. It, I just, it, it's always got an issue when I'm using it. So I'll show you both ways and you can pick which one works best for yourself. So first things first, you can't upload an Instagram clip from your PC. So there's gonna be a couple different steps that you can use in my first method. And then the second one is easy for both to just get the clips onto your phone. So all you need for this first method is your phone, Twitch, and a OneDrive account. And you can make those whenever you want. So now that we got all of those things, let's go ahead and head on over to the internet page and get this thing started. So as you can see here, I'm not streaming, I'm making YouTube videos, but if you'd like, in the description below as well is my Twitch channel. Go drop a follow, you might like it, who knows. So whichever clip you end up wanting to find and post on a social media, you go in here and you find. Now, I had a quad feed the other day playing Warzone and uh, I ended up killing a whole team on top of a building. So that's the one I wanna post to Twitter and Instagram today. So what you're gonna do is, is you're gonna come up here to the share button and you're gonna left click it, okay? So you get this little drop down box right here. So you just right click it. I like to do it this way where instead of just typing a bunch of stuff out, uh, tomorrow's clip is gonna be May 25th. So I do M25 and I just save it and it goes into my folder. So now we got the clip saved. So we're gonna pop it open. Okay, we, so we know we got M25, that's what we wanna post today. So we go to Twitter open up a tweet, you click this little image icon right here, and you go find the clip you want, right there, boom, it's up. Now you put your little description on, whatever you wanna come up with, um, quit roof camping is mine. And there, it's, it's posted. It's up, it's ready to go, it's on your profile. Okay, another thing that I wanna talk about with this, a lot of people will just go into their clips They'll copy this little link right here and then they'll go here and just do this. A lot of what I have read and a lot of what I have studied and seen is if you just post a clip like this, the person is just going to get a little box that says, come watch this clip. It's not, it's not like this where if you scroll past this, you just click play and it starts playing. They have to click on it, they have to follow the link and a majority of the time they're not gonna wanna watch it. So I found this to be easier as far as getting engagement and getting people to watch your videos because it's less work for them. The next step is kind of the trickier part of all these shenanigans to try to get your stuff posted. So you need a OneDrive folder. This is to be able to save your clips onto OneDrive and then go onto your phone, download it onto your phone. It's an extra step than what the next way you can download clips is, but I find this way easier for me at least. Upload this file, find the one for May 25th, double click it. It is now uploading into OneDrive. So the cool thing about this is now when I go onto my phone, I have OneDrive downloaded on my phone. Make sure you're on the same accounts on your phone and computer. But then you just go into the OneDrive and you save that clip on your phone and you can post it straight to Instagram. No, nothing else is needed. Now, another way you can go about this is instead of uploading it from your PC to Twitter, you can just download the clip onto your phone and upload it both onto Twitter and Instagram from your phone. I just find it easier to do it from the computer. It, it, it's, it's personal preference, honestly. And I've been doing it for so long that it just, it doesn't bother me that much. Now let's head back over and we'll get into the next version on how you can download your clips. 
Okay. So this one is strictly on your phone. So this next way that you can do this is a newer version. I'm not really familiar with it. And I also have issues with the Twitch app, like I've said on my phone. It's just, it's a hassle to work. So this might work better for other people. I just prefer the first way more. Now, if you want to head over to clipper.xyz on your phone and you paste the link to the clip, whatever clip you want, you copy and paste that link into the clipper and it automatically just takes you right there and you can download it. So as you can see right here, I'm gonna post the way that you can do it on your phone from Clipper and it does make it a lot easier. I just, that that hassle with tw the Twitch mobile app, I just, I just can't take it. I, I just would rather just do it on the computer. Plus I get done with my stream and it's just easy to do it right from my, my computer and, and get it done that way. But if you like this way, by all means, it cuts out that extra step of having to do the OneDrive and all that. So I can, I can see why people would enjoy this one, but I also have issues sometimes posting to Twitter from my phone. It just won't accept the media or something. So, you know, you pick which one works best for you. Uh, if you know any other way, go ahead and leave a uh, comment down below of how you go about it. Uh, I'd like to hear from you guys on that. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you did enjoy it and you'd also like more content like this. You can also comment stuff that you'd like to see me talk about. I really do enjoy doing this stuff and I'm trying to open myself up more to different stuff other than just video game highlights. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Much love to all of you guys and I'll see you soon.